Boys and girls, today we are going to look at a question that deals with decimals. Let's first read the question. The question says, which statement is true about the amount in the circles below? Well, let's look. Circle A. There are no whole numbers. The number to the left of the decimal is the whole number. There are no whole numbers. Next is tenths and then hundredths. This circle A has eight tenths and eight hundredths, and it's money, so it's 88 cents. Circle B, again, no whole numbers, no dollars. Seven tenths, zero hundredths, or 70 cents. Circle C, no dollars, no whole numbers, nine tenths and zero hundredths, 90 cents. Circle D, once again, no whole numbers, but there are zero tenths here and nine hundredths. This would be the equivalent of nine cents, like nine pennies. Let's read what the choices say. A says the greatest amount is shown in A. Well, A is 88 cents, and right away I can tell you that 90 cents, 9 tenths is greater than anything with 8 tenths. 90 cents is greater than 88 cents, so that could not be correct. A is not right. Let's look at B. The greatest amount is shown in B, 70 cents. So far, the greatest amount is a number with 9 tenths, 90 cents. That cannot be correct. C, the smallest amount is shown, shown in circle C. Boys and girls, this is clearly the largest amount, nine tenths or 90 cents. That is not correct. Let's look at choice D. The smallest amount is shown in circle D. Yes, boys and girls, because there are no tenths, only hundreds, nine cents. Nine cents is certainly smaller than 88 cents, 70 cents, or 90 cents. The correct answer is D. The smallest amount is shown in circle D. And that's how we do decimals.